Octonauts, our mission here is complete. Dashi, prepare to launch the octopod. I'm on it, Captain. Captain, there's something wrong with the ship. It's... <laughs> Tweak, any idea what just happened? I've already found the problem, Cap. It's the bubble converter. It's broken, and the octopod can't take off without it. Can't you just make a new one, matey? I could, but that would take days. Or months. Months? It looks like we don't have days or months. We've got to do something now. There is one other bubble converter. Ah, you mean... Uh-huh. Uh, of course. The old octopod. The old octopod? What old octopod? Uh, did we not mention this is actually the second octopod? Uh, no, matey. I think I'd remember another octopod. Oh, well, then this here's the new octopod. But way back when, before we were even the octonauts, there was an old octopod. It never did work quite right. Well, we crashed it. But when we came back to fix it... It had become an artificial reef, home to hundreds of creatures. So we had to leave it where it was. The old octopod should still have a working bubble converter. Then there's no time to lose. To the GUP A. Dashi, keep an eye on the ship. We'll be back as soon as we can. Aye, aye, Captain. Ah! Everybody, this way. <laughs> There it is. The old octopod. Shiver me whiskers. I much prefer the new one. Activate helmets. We're going in. The quickest way in is through the manual steering pod. But how are we going to get in, Captain? Ah, I know a little trick. Wow. It's just like home. Only not. Only very not. Only very, very not? This is not how I left these chairs. Tweak, we don't have much time. Uh, right. The bubble converter should be in here. It'll just take a minute, Cap. A fast! What was that? <gasps> I didn't see anything. But there was something. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> Ta-da! And it looks like it's in great shape. Well, that was easy. Or not. Oh, that's better. No, it's not. Something grabbed the bubble converter right out of my paw. I told you there was something in here. Whatever it is, it has our bubble converter. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, Kip, this one doesn't work. Oh, yes, of course. Octonauts, to your stations! Uh, Octonauts, are you there? Right here, Captain. Octonauts, I'm afraid this mission is taking longer than expected. There's something aboard this ship, and it's just stolen the bubble converter. Whoa! Um, is everything all right there? Uh, everything's under control, Captain. Oh, and we're getting quite a workout. Oh. Hang in there. We're moving as fast as we can. Octonauts, let's split up and find that thief. I'm entering the sick bay now. No sign of the converter. Who's there? Uh, hey, let me out of here, you orange. Whatever you are. I'm in the game pod, mateys. Just a volleyball. Cut it out! Cut it out! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls. Who can throw eight balls at once? 
I've reached the launch bay. Looks like someone's been down here moving stuff around. Ink? Huh? The barrels are back. But how? Now this is scary. A library with no books. Huh. We must have left one behind. What on earth? Captain, I saw some attack me with volleyball. Came out of nowhere. Uh, Captain, what are you doing on the floor? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, something just grabbed me. We'd better get to the bottom of this. Come in, Shellington. We need help identifying a mysterious creature. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, Captain. What can you tell me about it? Well, it's got tentacles. And it can throw eight things at once. And it squirts ink. And it's orange. Hmm. Sounds like a giant Pacific octopus. I agree. My Pacific cousins are the largest species of octopus. And they often make their homes in old abandoned ships. <laughs> well, how about that? I modeled the octopod after the giant Pacific octopus, and now there's one living in it. Yeah, but why did it steal our converter? It was probably just curious. Giant Pacific octopuses are very clever, and they always investigate new things. Hmm. Then maybe we can give it something new to be curious about. This ought to get its attention. And then, when it comes to investigate, we'll get our converter. Everybody into position. Lights out. Flashlight out of the jar. But where did it go? Huh? Ah. Hello. Goodbye. Follow that octopus. Easy now. We're not going to hurt you. Oof. Search everywhere. Ah, no sign of the eight-armed scallywag. She has to be in here somewhere. Ink. Ah, oh, hello there. Stay back. Don't make me ink you again, you invaders. Invaders? Us? Yes, this is my home. I'd arranged everything just the way I like it, and I don't appreciate you barging in without permission and moving everything around. We're sorry. We only came for our bubble converter. This thing? Well, it was in my home, so it's mine. Hmm. You are absolutely right. We didn't realize you were living here. Perhaps you'd be willing to trade it for something new. Huh? You have yourself a deal, young fellow. How about we shake on that? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the new bubble converted did the trick. How's it feel, Cap? The octopod's running perfectly, Tweak. I'm just glad we're not running anymore. Look, we're passing the old octopod now. Hmm? Looks like you left the light on. <laughs> Everybody wave. Goodbye. 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 See ya. <laughs> <laughs>
Hold still, Mr. Lobster. There, good as new. Ah, thanks, mate. Dashy to Peso. Come in, Peso. There's a storm heading your way and it looks like a big one. Thanks, Dashy. I'll head back to the octopod right away. That's the problem. The storm's moving fast. You won't make it back here in time. Peso, your best option is to get in the Gup E and find a safe place to wait it out. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll check back in when the storm passes. Stay safe, Peso. It'll be safe down here. Come on. Good idea. I'll just get the guppy. Oh, no. Captain, come in, Captain. Many, many years. Who said that? Good day, mate. Flappity flippers! <laughs> There's no need to be frightened. It's only us tree lobsters. Tree lobsters? Now, now, give him space, fellas. <laughs> we don't get guests up here very often. I'm old Howie, at your service. I'm Peso. I am. You actually live up here? Yeah, of course. But it's a giant rocky spike in the middle of the ocean. Ah, oh, you must be wondering how we got here. Well, <laughs> actually, I can't seem to remember. It all happened so long ago, you see. But uh, we've made a happy little home for ourselves up here. How many of you are there? Only 24 at the last count. Oh, hey! But once these eggs hatch, there'll be a few more. Oh. <sighs> ah, goodness me, where are my manners? You must be exhausted. Rest up, my friend. We'll look after you tonight. Thanks. I just think I need to rest my eyes for a bit. Lobsters. Oh. Where did they go? Ah, tree lobsters or no tree lobsters, I'd better get back to the octopod. Mm. Looks like there's only one way down. Ahoy there, matey! Quasi, Captain! Glad to see you're all right, Peso. We found the guppy, but we've been searching for you all morning. You won't believe what happened to me last night. You can tell us all about it back at the octopod. Climb aboard. Let's get you home. There were only 24 of them, and they all lived under this one tiny shrub. But then, when I woke up, they were gone. Yeah. Based on our location, it sounds like you washed up here on Ball's Pyramid. Strange. Ball's Pyramid has been explored many, many times and nobody's ever found any tree lobsters. I've never even heard of a tree lobster before. Peso, are you sure that maybe it wasn't all just a dream? It's not unusual to have strange dreams when you're in a dangerous situation. I don't know. Maybe it was all a dream. I believe you, matey. You, you do? I've heard enough strange tales to know there's usually a scrap of truth behind them. There's got to be something in the library about these tree lobsters of yours. Come on! Mysterious island monsters, castaway creatures, exotic beasts of land and sea. Quasi, it's been hours and we still haven't found anything about tree lobsters. Just a few more books, matey. <laughs> a tree lobster? Ha <laughs> ha! I knew we'd find them. Listen to this. 
Lord Howe's island stick insects, or tree lobsters, once lived on islands off the coast of Australia. Shiver me whiskers! It's amazing, isn't it? Unfortunately, no one has seen a living tree lobster in many years. I see one right now and it's on your head! <coughs> a baby tree lobster. I must have somehow brought one of the eggs back with me. We'd better get you back home. Yow! He's getting away! Yow! Quasi, Peso, what's going on? There's a real life tree lobster loose on the ship! We have to catch him, Captain! Sound the Octo Alert! Octonaut to the H. Uh, no, um, Octonaut to the lodge! Um, follow that tree lobster! <laughs> Incredible! I've never seen anything like it! Ha-ha! <laughs> we knew that tree lobsters were real, didn't we, Peso? <laughs> He's heading for the kitchen! Watch out, Vegemals! It up slowly, Tunip. We don't want to startle him. Huh? Look -a, look -a. Looks like he's heading for the garden pot. Let's go. I don't see the little guy anywhere, Camp. Keep looking. He's got to be around here somewhere. Huh? <sighs> Under a plant, just like home. Oh, all that running must have tired him out. He's sound asleep. We need to get him back to his home on Bull's Pyramid. Peso, Quasi, to the Gup A. Wake up, little fella. You're home. <coughs> you mean you climbed up there all by yourself, Peso? I did have a little help from a huge wave. Well, we'll be getting a little help from these climbing claws. Ooh. Hold on, little fella. <laughs> Shouldn't be much further now. I think the shrub is just a... <laughs> I've got you, matey. And I've got you. <laughs> Good catch, Captain. The shrub. Kind of scraggy little thing, isn't it? This is where the tree lobsters live, Peso. Yes, but where are they? <sighs> Peso! Old Howie! Huh? <laughs> You're back! And you brought little Howie Jr. with you. <laughs> Oh, we were so worried. But where were you? Well, sleeping, of course. We tree lobsters are nocturnal. We only come out at night. Well, I'll be a seen monkey's uncle. That's why no one's ever seen you before. Peso, this is an incredible discovery. You'll notice that our tribe has grown. Number 25 and 26 hatch today, and Howie Jr. here makes 27. Keep an eye on Howie Jr. He's a lively one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing him back to us. Won't you all stay the night as our guests? We'd be honoured, but we should head back home before it gets dark. Goodbye, old Howie. Goodbye, tree lobsters. Ah, oh, goodbye. <laughs> Um, how do we get down from here, anyway? I think you're going to like this part, Quasi. Octonauts! Wonderful! Another 
proper shell for our research, Captain. Let's measure it. Here's the biggest one yet, Shellington. <sighs> Look, there's a little sea star stuck to this one. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Don't be frightened, little sea star. We're the Octonauts. Who are you? My name is Twinkle. How interesting. You don't look like the other sea stars in this rock pool. Your arms are longer and you're a different colour. Well, actually, I don't live here. I kind of sort of got lost. Oh. Then let's help you get found. To the octopod. All I remember is I was crawling and then a big underwater wave picked me up and it dropped me on that beach. Maybe if we knew what kind of sea star you are, we could work out where you come from. The problem is, there are nearly 2,000 kinds of sea star, and they live in every part of the ocean, from the top to the very bottom. So how will we find her home? We'll have to look in a lot of places, Peso, and some of them could be dangerous, me hearties. Very dangerous. I miss my family. And they must be so worried about me. I want to go home. On my honour as an octonaut, I promise we'll get you back home. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to search the ocean top to bottom for Twinkle's home. Quasi, Peso, into the guppe. Aye, 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 Captain. Captain. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Might as well start at the top. Oh, there's all kinds of fish up here. That's because we're in the sunlight zone. The ocean is like a cake with three layers. Sunlight zone, twilight zone, midnight zone. The sunlight zone is the top layer. Hi, it's where most sea creatures live. This doesn't look like home. And I don't see any other sea stars. Hmm, there might be some on that coral reef. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Ahoy! There be one! Wow. That's a lot of arms. Um, excuse me. Have you seen a sea star that looks like Twinkle here? Well, that depends. Which one of you is Twinkle? Now, if it's you... No, no. I'm a penguin. Well, that's a relief, because you'd make one silly-looking sea star. Me, me, I'm the sea star. Of course you are. Who said you weren't? Now, I'm a sunflower star myself, and... It... I'm sorry, what was the question again? Ah, have you seen a sea star that looks like Twinkle? Well, why didn't you say so? Now, let's see. Yes, I'm sure I've seen some stars that look like her. If only I could remember where. Hmm, maybe it was over there. Or, or was it there? Oh, oh, wait, wait, I know. It was, ah! A porcupine puffer. Puffers eat sea stars. Peso, quick, hide Twinkle. <gasps> Nothing here but my hat. <sighs> you. Are you okay? Yes, but now I really want to go home. Time to search in deeper water. Gosh, it's getting dark out there. That's because we're getting further from the sunlight, down into the twilight zone. It's too dark for plants to grow, but there are still plenty of animals. Including sea stars. A vast, mateys. There's a mess of them right there. Excuse me, I see you're all sea stars. Nah, we're called brittle stars. What's it to you? We're just trying to help our friend Twinkle here find her way home. But we don't know where that is, matey. 
Have you seen any sea stars who look like her? Mm, I don't know. She looks a little like my cousin Shirley. No way. She's got much shorter arms. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Sorry, sweetheart. I don't think you're from round here. <sighs> Maybe I'll never find my way home. Don't give up, Twinkle. I've got a feeling we're getting really close to something. Yow! <gasps> <gasps> Wolfield! <laughs> they eat sea stars too! <gasps> this way. Phew! All right, everyone, he's gone. Let's... Oh, look at Twinkle! Wh what? Aye, she's glowing! Doesn't everybody glow in the dark? <laughs> no, but most sea creatures who glow in the dark live in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean. The Midnight Zone! It's safe. Back to the Gup, Octonauts. Next stop, the Midnight Zone. The Midnight Zone is completely dark. Many of the creatures who live here make their own light, just like Twinkle. Hey, this is starting to look familiar. Let me see. No, <laughs> Twinkle, don't touch that. Yeah. Hold on, Octonauts. <gasps> this could get bumpy. Supposed to happen, right? Uh, there you go. Thank you. Where are we, Captain? Looks like we've landed at the bottom of a very deep hole in the midnight zone. Wow, it's really dark outside. <gasps> the lights are broken. And inside, too. <sighs> the engine's working, but we're not moving. The gut must be wedged in. Well then, we'll have to go out and unwedge it. Octonauts, let's put on our special deep sea suits. But it's blacker than a pirate's teeth out there. Will we have enough light to see what we're doing? Hmm. I can help with that. A little more towards this side, please, Twinkle. Aye, aye, Captain. OK. Ready, Octonauts? Now, push! <laughs> The gup is free, but this hole is full of twists and turns. Aye, we'll need more than the light from one little sea star to get out of here and find Twinkle's family. Flappity blippers. Well, I'll be. They look like stars. They are sea stars. Twinkle, is that you? Daddy! Mummy! Granddad! Where have you been? We were so worried. Thank goodness you're home. Everyone, these are the Octonauts. They helped me find my way home. That's right. We searched the whole ocean from top to bottom. Now, if only we could find our way home. Maybe our new friends can help us. Daddy, Mummy, we need to get everybody together. The whole family and all our friends. Right you are, Twinkle. Ready for liftoff, Octonauts? Aye, 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 Captain. Then let's go. We're heading home. Hey, so be sure to keep an eye on your little brother 
We're going to have so much fun, Mum. We're going to play games on the octopod and we're going to... All right, Pinto, but we can't play right now. Captain Barnacles and the others are out on a mission and they need my help. There's an injured fish who needs a medic right away. Pinto, promise to do whatever your big brother tells you. And Peso, good luck on your mission. Love you. Love you too, Mummy. Bye, Mum. Wow, a mission! This is just like the time those baby sea snails were in trouble and you saved them. Remember? You were a big hero. Oh, I wouldn't call myself a hero. Well, how about when you have to take care of animals that are big and scary? You have to be really brave to do that. Well, it's all part of the job. Can I come with you? Please, please, please! I don't see why not. As long as you stay out of trouble. I will. Oh, wow! Thanks, Peso! Captain, I'm on my way. And I've brought my little brother Pinto with me. Ah, oh, very good. We'll see you both in a few minutes. Pinto, scarf off, helmet on. Good to see you again, Pinto. Hi. Glad you're here to help out your brother. Where's the patient? Right this way. I bet it's a barracuda, or a devilfish, or, or maybe even a giant octopus. Oh. That's the patient? Uh -huh. Say, ah. Uh. I reckon it's really, really serious. Can you even talk? Er, uh, actually, I've got a bruise on me fin. Pinto, would you please hand me your stethoscope? A thermometer, tongue depressor, body cast! Just a bandage roll, please. There, that should do it. Dashi, can you please take a picture so I can show my friends what a hero my big brother is? No problem. You should rest. Would you like to come back to the octopod with us so that you can get better? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Good work, Peso. And Pinto. We still have some exploring to do around here. See you later back at the Octopod. Wow, an anglerfish. <gasps> What's that? Are you a snake or an eel? Uh, hey guys, would you come over here and help me work out what I'm looking at? Hey, what is that? I wonder what that was. It was huge. Ah, oh, a tail like that can only belong to one thing, mateys. The dreaded monster of the deep known as the Nakawak. The, the Naka what? The Naka Whack. He's as big as three whales set end to end. Each tooth is the size of a dolphin. And he's crafty. Knocks over ships just for the fun of he does. Ah, oh, come on, Quasi. You don't really believe all that, do you? Don't I? I bet that Naka Whack comes back for a sneak attack. And if he does, I'll be waiting for him. Well, it's a mystery, all right. And one we need to investigate. Professor Inkling, are you there? Yes, Captain. How can I help you? Dashi took a picture of the tail of a mysterious animal, but none of us has a clue what it might be. It's the Nakawak, I tell you. The Nakawak. She's sending you the photo right now. Oh, most intriguing. Let me take a look through my books and see what I can find out. Thanks, Professor. Barnacle's out. Hello, Professor. Would you like to join us for a little game of table tennis? Uh, oh, I'd love to play, but uh, I'm too busy searching for a monster. A monster? Where? Well, Quasi thinks it's a monster, but it's probably just a creature we've never seen before. Do you need any help? Certainly! Why don't you go through this book and look for deep sea creatures with very long tails, while I go through this one? And I'll keep an eye out for any monsters. Look, over there! No, just another anglerfish. We're going to have to go deeper. Hi, 
right into that Nakawak's lair. Inkling, have you found anything yet? Not yet, Captain. It's getting hard to hear you. Inkling? Captain? Oh, the radio doesn't work when they're down that deep. Excuse me, but the monster you're looking for, is it long? Yes, extremely long. And does it have shiny silver skin? I think so, yes. Does it have red spikes on its head? Red spikes? Whatever made you think of red spikes? No! Oh. Ah. <coughs> Sound the Octo Alert! Sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to your stations! Octonaut, who sounded the Octo Alert? What's wrong? I'm sorry, Captain, but we saw the monster! It was right outside of this inkling's window and... Ah! We have to get back to the Octopod now. Hang on. Long tail? Red spikes, silvery skin? Of course! Now I know what it is. It's an oarfish! An oarfish? I've never even heard of an oarfish. That's because they're so rare. <laughs> you see, Pinto? I told you it wasn't a monster. Pinto? Where did he go? Oh dear, I know where he's going. And we'd better catch him before he gets there. Stop! Pinto, what do you think you're doing? I'm looking for the monster. It's not a monster, it's an oarfish, and... <gasps> wow! That's the longest fish I've ever seen in my life. I don't think the oarfish feels very well. Listen, he's crying. Let me check. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Orfish, are you all right? Oh, no, I feel awful. Why did you follow us back to the Octopod? Oh, uh, I wouldn't usually, I'm kind of shy. But when I saw you take care of that other fish, I thought maybe you could help me too. Of course I'll help. What's wrong? Oh, me throat, it really hurt. And I'm the longest fish in the ocean, so that's a lot of throat. OK, let's have a look. Say, ah. Ah. Wider, please. Ah. Wow! A vast, it's the Nakawak, and it's got peso. We have to save him. Your throat is all red. I think all you have is a bad cold. Why don't we... Yeah! Don't worry, Peso. I won't let the knackerwack hurt me, little buddy. Whoa, whoa, Quasi. False alarm. This isn't a knackerwack. Huh? It's an oarfish. The longest fish in the ocean. <laughs> you mean you weren't trying to eat Peso here? Ah! Uh. Of course not. I only eat tiny things. And besides, I don't have any teeth. Luke! Ah. I knew that. Now we just have to work out how to fit him into the sick bay. Amazing! The oarfish can keep his body straight up while he swims. Teal looks good down here. How do things look up there, Peso? Looks good, Tweak. Ah, oh, I'm feeling better already. He is incredibly long. I can see why you might think he was a sea monster, Quasi. Yep, my brother's a hero, all right. He helps any creature who's sick or hurt, from the smallest fish to the longest. And look, Pinto, I took that picture you wanted of him so you can show your friends. <laughs> <laughs> A lot better.
and your temperature is back to normal too. In a few days, you'll be feeling fine again. Wait and see. Cucumber. <laughs> Get it? Sea cucumber? Because you're a sea cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's get you back to your home. Twig, are you there? Sure, Cap. What's up? We have an emergency up here in the HQ. The hot chocolate machine has gone haywire and, and we can't turn it off. <laughs> oh, the guppy's battery is almost out of power. I was just going to replace it. But it can wait. Be there in a minute. Ah, looks like the guppy is ready to go. There we are, nice and comfy. Hmm, I wonder where Tweak is. Oh, it certainly is dark down here. Oh, that's better. OK, little sea cucumber. This is where I found you. Off you go. Thank you. Lappity flippers. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. I think I'm trapped down here in this trench. But you'll figure a way out of this peso. Oh. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's just a little dark down here, that's all. Nothing to be afraid of. I'll just radio the octopod for help. Hello, peso to octopod. Can anyone hear me? Come in, octopod. Hello. No radio. The battery is out of power. Ah, there we go, Cap. All fixed up. <sighs> Next time, remember to put the marshmallows into the chocolate after it comes out of the machine. Um, thank you, Tweak. OK, let's clean up this mess and get ready to launch the octopod. Righty ho, Captain. Aye, aye, sir. Steady as she goes. Dashy, call the roll. Quasi. Aye. Tweak. Oh, yeah. Shillington. Present. Professor Inkling. Why, yes. Tunip and the Vegemoles. Sushi <laughs> Uh, we'll take that as a yes. Captain Barnacles! Um, Dashy, I'm standing right next to you. Just doing my job, sir. Peso! Peso? Peso, come in! Peso! Stop the ship! Ah, where in the seven seas is Peso? This octoglow stick will help me see a little better. At least while I work out what to do. Huh? <laughs> Peso! Peso, where are you? You who, Peso? Peso, you in here? Huh? Where'd the gup be go? <sighs> Better check the gup finder. Oh no! Cap, Peso must be in the guppy. And it's trapped way down deep in an ocean trench. Peso, come in. Hello? Hello, Peso. His radio isn't working. Guppy's battery must have run out. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's no time to waste. We've got to rescue Peso. 
Quasi, tweak into the gupsy. Who, who are you? Boo! Ah! You scared me. I'm sorry, you asked who I am. Y yes, I did. So, who are you? Boo! Uh, will you please stop doing that? Stop what? Scaring me. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry. Well, OK. So, what's your name? Boo! Uh, boo! Uh, boo! Uh, boo! Uh, boo! Uh, My name is Boo. I'm a spookfish. A what? A spookfish. Everyone thinks we're all spooky and stuff because we have these clear see-through heads and because we can do this with our eyes. <laughs> See? Wow. That is spooky, Boo. <laughs> Told ya! According to the Gup Finder, the Gup E stuck right around here, inside that trench. Yep, our Gup won't fit in there. She's right. Tweak, you wait here. We may need that tow line. Quasi and I are going in. Hey, wanna play a game? Now? Oh, why not? It's called I Spy With My Little Eye. One of us looks around and says the first letter of what we see and the other one has to guess what it is. It is kind of dark down here, but OK. I spy with my little eye something beginning with P. Is it a penguin? No. Plankton? No. Uh, oh, I give up. What is it? A polar bear! Oh, OK, my turn. I spy with my little... A polar bear? That polar bear is Captain Barnacles and Quasi. They've come to rescue me. Hey, so, are you OK? Hi, Captain. I got stuck down here when the guppy's battery died, but I'm fine. And who's that wee little guppy with you? Oh, this is my new friend. Boo! Duh. Shiver me whiskers! What matter a wild ocean beastie is this? I'm not a beastie. My name is Boo. I'm a spookfish. We can see right up through our heads. Aye, aye. Tweak, we're going to need that tow line. You got it, Cap. Let's hook it to the gup and pull her out of here. <clears throat> OK, lift her up. Steady, Tweak. Careful. <gasps> Ow! Cap, look out! Down there. You guys all right? We're okay, Tweak. But rocks fell over the gup and now we can't move it. Captain, what are we going to do? Quasi and I will just have to try to push that huge rock out of the way. Peso, Tweak will pull you up. You steer away from the rocks. But how will I see where I'm going? If the ship's upside down, I won't be able to see up. Ah, we know someone who can see up. We do? Of course we do. Boo! Sure, I'll help Peso steer. Octonauts, let's do this. On the count of three, Quasi. One, two, three, push! Now, pull, Tweak! Now, steer to the left just a little. OK, steady. Turn to the right. That's it. Now steer left. Just a bit. <laughs> That's good, Peso. Now keep going straight. <laughs> Way to go. We did it. Yay! Well done, crew. And you too, Boo. Who? Me! Boo! Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Just look at that, Octonauts. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. 
Looks like our kind of place, Captain. And best of all, this whole area is still unexplored. It's just out there waiting for us. Well, Quasi's gonna be the first to explore the unexplored tonight. <sighs> it's a bit late to start exploring now, Quasi. We can wait till morning. Morning? A pirate never waits till morning. Not when there's an adventure to be had at night. You're not just a little bit scared of what might be out there? Scared? This pirate isn't afraid of anything. Not even sharks. Ha! I laugh at them. How about poisonous jellyfish? Not scary to me. What about vampire squids? Vampire squids? Ah, let me at them. Snakes? Nope. Bats? No. Scorpions? Yeah! No match for Quasi. Uh, how about spiders? Sp uh, spiders? Luckily, there are no spiders in the ocean, matey. Um, there aren't, are they, Captain? Don't worry. Spiders only live on land. Good. Well then, as I was saying, this pirate is afraid of nothing. All right, but be careful out there. Yo-ho, yo-ho! It's out to sea I go! Hmm. Fire squids and sharks. <laughs> I'm not scared of it. Oh, that's strange. Wait, who's there? <gasps> and what's this? If it's a sea plant, it's a funny looking one. <laughs> Here's another one. Huh? Wait a minute. These aren't plants. They're more like legs. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Eight legs! Just like a... Sp spider! Yow! <laughs> You're not going to believe what I saw back there. It was creepy. It was crawly. It was... It was this big. No, it was bigger than that. It was huge! <sighs> what was it? A vast! It was a giant spider! And it made a strange noise like this. Thunk, thunk, thunk. But, 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 Captain, I thought you said there were no spiders under the sea. Captain, you've got to see this. There's something big out there, and it looks like it has eight legs. Let's sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi has discovered a mysterious creature in these unexplored waters. Now it's up to us to find out what it is. I'll get the good bait ready, Cap. And I'll stay here at the octopod to fix something with my tools. Quasi, those were my tools. Quasi, we need you to come along. You're the only one who knows what this creature looks like. What does it look like? The biggest spider I've ever laid me eyes on. A spider? In the ocean? I know, it doesn't seem likely. But whatever Quasi saw out there, we're going to find it. Peso, Shellington, into the guppe. Quasi, are you with us? Hi, Captain. I'm with you. Good. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Captain. See anything, crew? Nope, not yet. It is pretty dark out there. You know, you're right, Captain. Why don't we just head back to the octopod and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. Yeah! Yeah! This is the spider! 
Hello out there. We mean you no harm. We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our guff? Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Kibbutz with your lives. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of course. A giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh, no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, Ouch. no! It's a giant clam. Well, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. This clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. A hundred years old? Shiver me whiskers. Oh, yes. We spider crabs can live for years and years, long enough to meet many of our grandchildren. I just hope I get to see mine today. On our honour as octonauts, we'll get you unstuck, matey. <laughs> Captain, according to my medical manual, giant clams open and close using this muscle. Aye, try tickling it. Good idea. Goochie, goochie, go. <laughs> That's it. Peso, you'll tickle the clam. Quasi and Shellington, you try to pull the clam open. I'll lift the crab's leg out. Tickle, pull, and lift. Octonauts, let's do this. Excellent. Yes. Aye, aye. Tickle. A oh, goochie, 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 goochie. Pull. <laughs> and lift. <laughs> yes, it's working. Let's really get him laughing now. Tickle. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> lift. <laughs> ah, at last, I'm free. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We did it. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, how can I ever thank you? Say, would you like to come to my birthday party? The Octonauts never say no to a birthday party. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. I've never seen so many kiddies and grandkiddies. Grandpa, you made it! Ah, yes. Thanks to my new Octonaut friends. I got here just in time. Happy birthday, Grandpa! Oh. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> now I know how that giant clam must have felt. <laughs> Guess Quasi's no longer scared of spiders. Spider crabs, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Swam closer to the shipwreck. He heard a strange, whispery voice. 
Then an eerie white something rose up from the shadows of the sunken ship. It was what we pirates call a sea ghost. Its slimy fingers stretched from its hands like long, squirmy eels. Its voice came to him in a spooky whisper. It said... I have an urgent message for Captain Barnacle. <laughs> The vampire squid! Oh, phew. It's all right. He's an old friend. What seems to be the problem? Captain Barnacles, I have come from the deep down below where I have heard the cry of a hurt creature. A hurt creature? Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. <laughs> Our friend the vampire squid has heard an injured creature down in the midnight zone. What sort of creature? I, I, I don't know. It is very dark and spooky down there. I get scared easily. Peso, why don't you take the guppy down below and investigate? As a medic, it's my duty to help any creature who's hurt or sick, no matter what. Even if they're hurt or sick in a very spooky place. If it's spooky down there, you're going to need help, matey. Captain, I'm going too. I'll stay in touch on the radio. Let me know if you run into any trouble. Yes, Captain. Aye, right, Captain. Over there. That is where I heard the injured thing. Look at that. Shipwreck. And strange whispery noises too, just like in your story. Aye, matey. You don't think there's a sea ghost down here, do you? Ah, this is too spooky for me. Ugh, slime. Those noises sound like they're coming from over there. I'm going in for a closer look. Yes, Captain. Peso, we've got you and Quasi on the radar. We'll keep an eye on you from here. Thanks, Captain. We found a shipwreck, and strange noises seem to be coming from inside. It could be the hurt creature. Over and out. in here. Quasi, is that you? <laughs> oh, phew. You're not a sea ghost. You're an anglerfish. Thank goodness someone heard me. I've got this pain in my lantern. Can you help? That's what I'm here for. Hmm. Looks like you've twisted this. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> there's, there's, ah! there's nothing to worry about. This won't hurt. <laughs> now to get you a sticker. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Flappity flippers! Hey, son! Oh, you don't want to go in there, boy! I'm coming for you, matey! Hey, so! Hey, oh. hey so's medical bag. He would never leave this lying about. And there's that noise again. Captain, I found Peso's bag, but Peso's nowhere to be seen. Well, according to the radar, he should be nearby. Yeah! That's it, Quasi. Keep going. Quasi, there's something else aboard the shipwreck. Whatever it is, it's heading straight for you. 
I don't see anything. It's getting closer. Closer? Quasi, it's standing right next to you. I don't see anything. Behind. In front. Just turn. Captain, Captain, I, I can't hear you. Come in, Quasi. Captain, we've lost all radio contact. I know you're here somewhere. What? Who's there? Show yourself. Wow! <laughs> gotcha this time. <laughs> yeah, a sea ghost. <laughs> Did you have to do that? Well, sorry, Quasi. I didn't mean to scare you. You... you didn't? It's just... I think this wreck may be haunted by a sea ghost. I saw something too. But sea ghosts are only make-believe, aren't they? The sea ghost? <laughs> Barnacles. I came down as soon as we lost radio contact. Were you expecting someone else? Yes, the sea ghost. Sea ghost? It's got a strange whispery voice and long white fingers like slimy eels. It tried to grab me with the... Captain, it snuck up behind me and... Listen. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants us to be here. We'd better move out, fast. This way, hurry. Ah, the sea ghost strikes again. Let go. I've got you. I've got you. It's got me. This way. Did we just get elbowed by a ghost? Just a little further. Whoa! This way! Um... Pardon? Did you say help? Help a ghost? I'm so sorry to bother you, but I'm not actually a ghost. I'm a long armed squid. A long um, squid. I've seen squids before, and they don't look like ghosts. Oh, but there are lots of different kinds of squid. Giant squid, vampire squid, and me, a long-armed squid. See? So those were your elbows that bumped us earlier. Oh, yes, I'm uh, really sorry about that. These elbows of mine are always getting in the way. We're the only squid that have them, you know. But I'm afraid my elbows aren't the problem. Your tentacle is tangled. Yeah, that's why I was trying to, you know, get your attention. But why didn't you just ask us for help? Well, we long-armed squids are, well, shy. I'm sorry if I uh, frightened you. Frightened? <laughs> It'd take more than a squid to frighten me. Oh, do you think you could help me with my tentacle, if it wouldn't be too much trouble? No trouble at all. Octonauts, let's untangle this tentacle. <laughs> Ready, Peso? Ready. Oh, I'm free. Hmm, you need a bandage on that. <laughs> oh, it feels better already. Thank you, Peso. It was no trouble at all. You be careful with those elbows of yours. I will. Goodbye. Cheerio. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, my friends, did you find... Wait, you forgot your medical bag. Ah, ghost. Oh, vampire. Ah, squids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Beatty. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.